And welcome back to Theme Park Wizard, and today we have a special look thanks to Inside the Magic and WGW Magic and Inside the Magic.net and WGWMagic.com about uh, the process of reopening Universal City Walk and what it looked like. So, we're here with the parking, uh, since at the parking lot, you see they're blocking off every other row, parking row. Um, some people get out of their cars, they'll be more than six feet apart. As you head on to the elevator, if you decide, do decide to take the elevator, you're only allowed one party per elevator, which can have some, for some very long lines, so I suggest that you taking the stairs. As we walk towards the uh, the moving walkway, I've never been to Universal Orlando, so um, not quite sure the layout, um, but I do know they have um, moving walkways to the resort like they do now. Now, as you see, there's signs saying social distance, and there's markings on the ground. So the first instance of markings on the ground saying where you cannot stand. Saying those blue markers right there are where you can cannot stand is what I'm understanding. Um, but then there's blue markers saying where you have to stand later on, and we'll show you that later. As we move on, you see these lovely, lovely team members. Shout out to the custodial team members, especially for um, cleaning, wiping down the handrails. This is actually, uh, there's a video of this um, on WGWmanager.com, and also you've probably seen it on Twitter. But they are, um, the escorts are moving, they're constantly wiping down the handrails every, like, second. It's awesome, and um, expect team members doing, the, doing that at Disney Springs and the Universal Orlando, and inside and outside the parks of those as well. Now, this is the very interesting part. This is where we get to the temperature screening. And this is where, again, um, where you, looks like this is where you have to stand on the blue things. Um, looks like, or at least people are seeming to stand on the blue things instead of away from them as a, because they're kind of queuing at this point. And you'll, we'll have a picture right now where we're looking, like, a closer, this is like the front of the line, and people are putting maybe like 50, 20 to 50 feet apart from, um, where you get your temperature scan, and it's definitely, it's not like uh, Shanghai Disney, we just walk on through. Um, maybe because this is the city walk, it's not a high amount of people at a whole bunch of times usually, so they, they probably use the one where it scans right on your head, it's digital, you just put it on your head, and that's what the people are waiting for. When you head on into city walks, um, you notice lots of changes as well. Um, for example, um, just about every store I have hand sanitizer and face coverings available. One for, uh, Face coverings are one for six dollars and three for fifteen, which is actually not bad. I bought my um, face coverings before I, I customized them. I bought them, mine for six dollars per um, mask, so that's not bad. Three for fifteen, they were saving a dollar. Hand sanitizer, three dollars. I feel like that's not bad at all. And as you see, uh, farther up, you Here's a saying, uh, thing on the ground saying where not to stand. Um, well, because presumably someone's going to be buying stuff right there, and then they'll be waiting behind the blue circle. And throughout the resort, or throughout the mall, you'll be saying, um, these, the survey queue, uh, survey team members, if you want to take a survey, you'll be doing a QR code instead of the uh the traditional the other way they hand you the ipad no you'd be scanning a qr code <laughs> doing it on your own there's some uh more important important information telling you what to do if you're sneezing your or face mask sneezing your mouth um there are the um what's about the uh this is now from inside the magic <laughs> the Moving all the to the theme parks are closed because theme parks are still closed and definitely do not forget. Here are some of the markings on the ground as you walk towards the um, <laughs> your car or back to City Walk. Saying it's two feet, two people with, and then six feet apart. Basically, that's the saying. And there's they're posted on both aisles, um, um six feet apart. Which is um, great. I think they're this and expect to for this to look just like the theme parks as well. Um, and here's another. But I just see how uh, here it's kind of crowded today. Um, not like too crowded, but 
like a good amount of people showed up, which is good. It's good that people um, feel confident enough, um, especially with these safety members in place and safety measures in place to get back to the theme parks and the city walk at least. And see, here's the main plaza of city walk. You have Vivo back there, and just the main area, and you still see the markings in the main area too, which is fantastic. There's a the university of store, um, kind of showing those crowds. Uh, again, not too crowded. But it, there's definitely people definitely wanted to go, which is awesome. It's good they feel confident to have to go with a face mask and to um yeah. And then here's a parting. I love the parting shot of the uh, Universal Orlando War Resort. Definitely want to definitely like to go there sometime. I went to Disney World, but never went to Universal Orlando. But that's exactly that looks that looks like. This is what it's going to be like for the time being for the near future until the vaccine happens. I think it looks uh, very well managed. I'm I was so happy to see the team members wiping down the escalators and there's probably um, lots of other team members wiping down different services that we the, these photos didn't capture, which is fantastic and I can't wait for the parks to reopen and to see team members doing the same thing. And for a guest, we we'll be wearing face masks. Um, I was just thought face masks will be hot and sweaty and they might be in Florida unfortunately but depending on the face mask you get it could be really really good I guess again I just ordered mine today um, the theme park wizard face masks which are available at the link below on my website um, for purchase and they're super breathable super nice I was even wearing it when I wearing it when I didn't have to because I loved it was like so easy to talk on it um, and it was great um, and I'll show you a video of that right right after this um, little outro here and you can go ahead and get the face mask down below in the link and here's a video of that look at that very nice face mask right there all right well again if you want the face mask definitely go with them at the link below subscribe for more updates I'll be doing a live stream tomorrow Saturday at 4 p.m. we do streams on Wednesday and Saturday on uh, Disney or uh, Theme Park News and then ending with Disney Trivia. The first one was pretty cool, and we'll doing be doing the next one on Saturday. So stay tuned for that. Subscribe for more Theme Park updates, and as always, have a fantastic day.